Now, in the past 11 days, the island of Sao Jorge in Portugal's Azores archipelago has been rattled by more than 20,000 small earthquakes. And many locals have left the island in fear. We are still on a level four volcanic alert, and this is the message I would like to transmit. The magnitude of the earthquakes has reduced slightly and is on the threshold between those felt and non-felt, but the population must stay alert. Hi guys, this is Florian. Today I'm doing a, a short video that is a bit unusual for this channel uh, where I would like to talk about the situation in saint George, uh, which is an island in the Azores. As you may know, I've done a lot of videos on this archipelago, Portuguese archipelago in the middle of the Atlantic and I'm still planning to do a lot more because I really love this place. It's uh, yeah, one of my favorite discovery uh, of the past few years. One of the reasons why I'm doing this video is because I've met quite a few people uh, when I was in Pico and Fayal and they all uh, reached out to me to tell me to ask me hey have you heard about this particular eruption etc and all of them had family in St. George. I uh, thought they, they were all very worried and so I felt like I had, I had to Kind of make it well known because I know in some of the in some of the media it was mentioned, um, but I'm sure it's one of this information that came in. People heard about it, like, and then kind of forgot. So I just wanted to explain the situation there and how, like, even if no eruption happened, it may still impact very negatively the island. The first thing to explain is where is St. George, what they do, um, and just give you a bit of uh, give you a bit of background information on the island. So the island of St. George is part of the archipelago of the Azores, uh, which is a Portuguese archipelago uh, composed of nine islands, which are located in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, like close to halfway to America. St. George is part of the five islands that make up the central group of islands of the Azores with um, Pico, Fayal, uh, Terceira and Graciosa. At the moment there are a little bit over 8,600 people living on the island which is really not much. It's one of the least populated islands in the archipelago. And the uh, largest city are Colgeta and uh, Village, where a village is where you have the, um, the ferry harbor. St. George is mostly known for two things, I would say. First is its geography. St. George is very peculiar because it uh, has an oblong shape, so it looks a bit like a stick in a way, uh, with a, a central mountain range and huge cliffs as well as what we call fajash. So fajash are what happens when you have a lava flow that goes down a cliff uh, to the ocean and create like a flat land. I think I, I, shown, I had shown you that in one of my previous video about Faya. Um But yeah, in this case it is sometimes called the, uh, the island of fajash. So um, definitely a huge feature. So. This kind of geography is also what makes it uh, attractive to lots of travelers because it's a great place to go hiking. And the other big thing for which St. George is famous is uh, cheese. 70 to 80% of the economy is based on milk and uh, they have a very unique cheese called uh, St. George cheese. Uh, known all over the Azores and even in um, Portugal. They have a PDO status, which is unusual, and it, it's quite good, I quite like it. And usually that's the product St. George is associated with. I could also mention that the only coffee production in Europe is located in St. George. It's very small and more like an, an, an anecdotal in many ways, um, but always worth mentioning.
The last eruption recorded in St. George was in May 1808, when the Ursulinus uh, volcano erupted. It was actually quite an important thing for the local economy and, and the local uh, people living there because there were very acidic rain, um, dangerous gases, the ash, and just the magma, uh, which really disturbed um, the whole island. So you would tell me, okay, that's great history, but what's happening now? So now, since March 19th, 2022, um, there have been a lot of small earthquakes happening uh, near Village, the largest city in St. George. To date, it has been more than 25,000 little earthquake, earthquakes. So most of them were really not massive. So I think the highest were, um, the one with the, the highest order of magnitude was 3.8. So it's still relatively okay. No one was uh, in, like, no one died. Nothing was destroyed, um, but the occurrence and the repetition of earthquakes almost every day ever since has um, pushed the authorities to declare a level four uh, emergency situation, uh, which is one of the highest level uh, in the Azores uh, of um, natural disaster. So it's pre-volcanic -volcan eruption. The scientists at this point cannot really tell uh, can can really say if an eruption is going to happen. It's, I mean, it seems likely, but no one can tell. It may even just die out. Um, but what we've also noticed is that the ground has has elevated um, all over like the central area of the island. As the authorities were fearing the eruption, they have decided to evacuate all the people who may be in danger. So people in retirement homes. Uh, people in hospitals who have been moved to the hospital of the other island and lots of residents also left. So in the end it's really hard to know if we'll see another Las Palmas eruption but in the Azores or if it will just come to pass. Uh, but in any case it will have some consequences for the island and that's what I wanted to talk about. First, let's talk about what would happen if there was actually an eruption. The authorities are afraid that the volcanic ash may um, have a very negative impact on the farmlands. Already the cows are showing uh, signs of stress due to all the tremors. Another thing I wanted to mention is that uh, the epicenters, so like the place from which uh, the earthquakes are, are coming from, um, were close to village so the main uh, city, the island, and where you have the port, um, the harbour, and where the ferries are going, and close to the airport. So in case of an eruption, there may be uh, damages happening there and like preventing uh, easy transportation of people from, um, from, uh, from the island and rescue also. So that could definitely be a problem going forward. As lots of people are leaving, um, the factories for cheese, for example, are saying to miss people to work there, which means they cannot uh, run full capacity and cannot buy all the milk um, that is produced, uh, which leads to, uh, to some negative economic impact for the farmers. The government has already said that they will try to indemnize um, the farmers who did not manage to sell all of their milk but it's sure that going forward there will be more of a labor shortage as not everyone is going to come back and that's something that I think is key to understand in the history of the Azores there has been several of these events very often in Fayal uh, where there was an eruption in 1957 uh, a big earthquake in 1998 that I mentioned in some of my videos and every time there has been uh, a big volcanic um, event the population has fled and the majority did not come back 
with a such a small population as Saint Georges, so uh, 8,600, having large amount of uh, large groups, uh, large groups of people leaving is definitely a big blow to the whole economy and sustainability of the inhabitation here. So there will be repercussion in for in for years, definitely, of this event. And also, it happened at a very bad time because with the current Russian war in Ukraine, um, the price of feedstock for animals has grown tremendously. So the farmers already were having a hard time here. To finish this video, I didn't want to be really uh, pessimistic about the whole thing happening. Uh, it may end up being nothing at all, but for sure there will be repercussions and in the future things like this will happen the, because the Azores are active volcanic islands. Personally, I'll try to keep you updated on this. I'll continue to update videos about the Azores and to push you like to go there and not be afraid. Um, and uh, also, I would definitely recommend you reach out to Portuguese friends uh, or if you have people you know from the Azores. So I definitely recommend you reach out to know what's the situation of the family. And this, I wish you a great day and a great night and I'll see you very, very soon. Cheers.